Hi, this is Stephanie Manley with Copycat.com. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to make Boston Market Sweet Potato Casserole that tastes just like it does when it comes from the Boston Market. How about that? So, we're be going to begin with the obvious, and that would be sweet potatoes. Now, for this recipe, I like to use between four and a half to five pounds of sweet potatoes to make a 13 by 9 inch baking dish. So I'm going to begin by simply wrapping my sweet potatoes with foil. You don't need to wash them. You don't need to put any oil on them. You don't need to do anything to them, but wrap them in foil. Then I'm going to bake them in the oven for approximately an hour. How do you know when a sweet potato is done? Well, you stick in a fork in it. and If it goes all the way in, it's nice and soft. It's done. And now my potatoes are done. And they're straight from the oven and they are screaming hot. So don't touch them right now. Let them cool off a little bit. And then once that happens, you can peel the skin. And you can see I'm just peeling the skin right here. You can also see the steam rise. So again, be careful when these potatoes are hot because wow, it's a hot potato. And playing a game of hot potato for one is not a lot of fun. So just go ahead and peel off the skin and we're going to begin to mash them, you know, just like you would regular mashed potatoes. So I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I love to layer flavors. I think things taste so good that way. I'm adding a 16 ounce can of sweet potato puree and about a half a stick of butter. Why? Paula Deen told me to. No, actually it just tastes good with a little bit of butter. So since these potatoes are still hot, I'm going to go ahead and let the heat of the potatoes melt the butter. Then I'm going to begin to add in everything else. And that is two large size eggs. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt because salt always helps pick up the flavor a little bit. Now I'm going to add about a half teaspoon of vanilla and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Then we're going to stir this up a little bit more. You can see the butter is melting just fine. So then I'm going to add about a half cup of dark brown sugar. Then we're going to blend this together and it's going to take about a half cup of heavy cream. And there you go. We're just going to blend this in perfectly and that's all it takes for the base of our sweet potato casserole. Now it's time for the streusel, my favorite part. I'm going to start out with a half cup of all purpose flour. Then I am going to add one cup of dark brown sugar. I really like the way dark brown sugar tastes and it has such a lovely caramel color that whenever I use brown sugar, I always pick up the dark brown sugar. Just a pinch of salt and then a cup of quick oats. Those are the kind that cook um, almost immediately that you may have for breakfast. Then we're going to add in about a half teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick stir. If you need to break up your brown sugar, go ahead and use your fingers, break it up. And then, can you guess, we're going to add in, well, this time a whole stick of butter. So, um, and then we're going to stir this up and make that lovely streusel topping. Now. We are going to go ahead and assemble our sweet potato casserole. Now here come our sweet potatoes that we have mixed very well. And I'm again putting this in a 9 by 13 inch pan. Now this is going to serve a lot of people. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stick on about 2 cups of miniature marshmallows. I'm just kind of sprinkling these evenly across the sweet potatoes. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put on that streusel topping. I like a lot of streusel topping. Um, I like it to be at least a good quarter inch thick. And then I'm just going to layer that on and this is going to be fabulous. If you want to make like apple cobbler, you know, just season up your apples, a little bit of salt, sugar, a little lemon juice, and you can put the same topping over them and bake them up. So anyway, we're going to put this in the oven for about uh, 30 to 45 minutes. And there you go. You have a sweet potato casserole, just like they do at the Boston Market. So 
You can find more great recipes at copycat.com.